This is the last video of the Hot Point 953 Hour Electronic 1000 Plus before we bring another machine in. We're washing this snowman Christmas blanket, but it's retro today. We're going back to the mid 80s. Whisk, liquid detergent, and this comfort free sample. Don't have anything in it. I brought these off eBay. Let's wash them with them in an 80s washing machine. And you're watching Florence Valley 8360 on film. Just mentioned I brought these off eBay, these detergents and conditioner. Let's have a little look at them, shall we? So, with thanks to some members of Service Wash, they were identifying the years this was from. These are, I think, approximately from 1985 or so. Some remember 82. This is liquid detergent called Whisk, and if you hear this, there's actually stuff still in there. Now, sometimes I think you would also get a sample of comfort. This again has not been opened, none of these have been, um, but I'm not too sure if this has anything in it. Uh, the seller did say some of these might have been crystallised, so I know there's some stuff in here. Not, I don't know how much, but this just feels like there's a bit of like jelly in there, so I don't know what we'll be able to get out of that. Might just have to wash with regular comfort, but the main thing is we're doing this. So, we're going to do it on a 40 degree cycle. Uh, with this throw, hopefully nothing too dramatic happens, but it'll be very interesting to see if this has any fragrance left and how that performs. Uh, as you know, the laundry centre, Chris, he often has like bold automatic, um, and I think some personal from like the 60s and the 80s. Um, Mike King, Chester Mike UK, has often used some of these as well. He used the 60s personal that I've got, and I'm going to get one of those and use in the A3060 at some point. So we'll do this, and I was originally meant to do it with some 80s bedding, but I couldn't find any. But we'll have a little look at some vintage bedding. Uh, without further ado, let's do this. Leaving the machine under the worktop, because she's going to be unplumbed. So let's put that in there. I'm not adding soda crystal. Oh, we probably will. I'll have to add that to the drum then, the soda crystals. What? The bottle, you're under the bottle opener. I've got to have ice and sugar on it. What else? The cinnamon. And you want to put that on it? That's soda crystals. No. I just said it just means. Have we got icing sugar? In the pot. Oh. As you all know, this hot point has got the original liquid dispenser in. So, let's do a little fragrance on this. I'm going to break open the seal. This is where collectors go, no, why would you do that? Well, I'll get some more to put on display, but I want to use this one. God, if only I could have been around for these. Right, let's do a fragrance test. Just see if there's anything still worth in this. I think we just pull that, don't we? Oof, that's quite a... Uh, ooh! Okay, don't eat if you're watching this, but look at that. Oh, it looks like ambrosia custard. Oh. I can't even tell you what that's, that doesn't... Oh, it smells like floor polish. <laughs> I don't think, I mean, it's probably gone off or something. So probably the enzymes in it might not be active. Let's have a look, I doubt we've got anything. Tear out back of card and remove. <coughs> Let me get a photo of this first because I need to get it for the thumbnail. Right, let's get the comfort open. <laughs> Here's this part here. There's foil behind there as well. A remove bottle. Snap, snap back head of bottle along crease line. Through nozzle so Do not pour undiluted comfort yet, because some people actually do that. What about this bit here? Oh, so it's within this.
are right. It's within that. That does smell really good, actually, but... Uh, I don't think there's anything left. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, hang on. I think... That's what it looks like, paste. There is a very tiny amount, I might have to actually scoop it out though. So we can, we're good to go. That smells absolutely amazing for an 80s detergent. Right, so I'm gonna load. I don't know the measurements. Mark, tell me if you smell this. Does this bring back any memories? Mmm. Yeah. Let's do smell it again. Yeah. As you know, of course, my mum was around for the 80s. Okay. Oh! Ugh! Oh no! Okay, that. Oh. Oh, I hope to God that put no one off their dinner, but that actually looks like someone has just been sick inside the hot point. I'm just about to make some icing sugar as well. No, it looks like my nutriment milk. Oh. It looks like um, there's a like curdled. Look at that, it's like curdled chicken soup. Oh, done. That's horrible. As for the comfort, I've actually got a, it, it's it's like gunge in there, so I've got a. I mean, he must have been sat for like, what, 30 odd years? I oh, know, that, that is horrible. I mean, what's. That's disgusting. Some free samples you'd get. Uh, sometimes you get these with your new machine as well. Hotpoint used to do it for parcel. You'd get. That's what the conditioner looks like now. Look at that. That's fabric conditioner. <laughs> I hope to God the machine takes that in. I think we'll just, you know, we'll just use that much. As I said, using Program 5, 40 degrees Celsius, non colour half cotton. This is going to be very interesting to see how this goes. Right, machine's filling. Might enable a half loan on this because then what's on small enough. Right? Have a look, Freddy. That smells awful, whatever I can smell. Mm, still sudsy. Oh, no, no. No, oh, no. It goes down quickly. That means the enzymes are basically dead in that detergent. It's sudsy when it's on board. but like look how quickly it goes down <laughs> to be honest though this machine if this machine has been in service since the 80s probably would have used that detergent <coughs> Now, 
when it's a static heat, so we just sit in heat to about 30 degrees. When did you put these on my plate? Didn't see it. You didn't see I said here, have it, enjoy. That's what I've taken your You're phone. just shoving food down my throat. No. No? Because it's weight, I don't want to waste. We've heated to 40 degrees Celsius and there's now a lot more sun. So maybe this detergent still is active. Shall I show them you in your bathroom? No! <laughs> First rinse, and got the camera at this angle because you know how quickly the machine will go into spin. So, at least the machine can be put in storage, smelling retro. That's actually really good. Oh, that was a bit of a bang from the solenoid there. Oh my god, look how much suds that wicks up. That's why I didn't um, put this on a full level main wash. This is what I mean, getting stuff really dusty, you know. I would have put Dettol laundry disinfecting in there, but um, that'll kill off all the retro smells. I want to keep that smelling like that because that's going to go on, on the top of my sofa bed. Oh, that's satisfying how the water just rolls off the paddles. Right, this is the part where I hop onto the worktop now. That is really sudsy. First intermediate spin. material to the other blankets, mind you. Oh god. Oh my god, no. Oh god, okay. Okay, this is a get out of the kitchen spin. Shit, that is going to get violent. Oh, I need to, I need to leave that out. I want to be in front of a 9.5 when it's on balance. What the hell? From the drawer 
simple. And number four. The whole machine lifted all four wheels off the ground for a second. I've never even thought that blanket got that heavy. Most on balance spin of the year goes to the 9 wire 3 probably. Do you know what? I actually had one do that as a kid when, uh, when I was little with my uh, grandparents' 9516. Uh, threw itself out of me like. But now you know why I won't put that in the A3060. Any more spins to come like that. That's the second rinse. And that's stuck to the side. Second rinse and it's still stuck to the top. Barbara finally put on a show for her last, her last wash. Yet with the other throws, she's been good. <coughs> I just sent that to my friend Simone, who knows about it. She knows what she says. It's a better amazing. Not as sudsy though. You can still smell it when the machine's draining. Second intermediate spin, and please mark with my name. Let's see if you can still smell this. Yeah, there's still a fragrance in that. So I'm balanced, but that's not going to be anything like that. And I'm happy the camera is focusing today. satisfying hearing the machine drain into the sink. I just like hearing the sound of the water dashing into the sink. Also, that's like the 80s. In the 80s, you didn't really have your machines plumbed in. You could wheel them up to the sink. That's why he's got wheels on them.
Oh, it's just a snowman, I think, on that. Right, third rinse. That's the, uh, the soft one. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite good. We've got another spin off of this, and then... Yeah, not bad, actually. Well... Uh... That's on level on this spot, I can turn it on. come in and we all know what one. Uh, Thank God, I've got the drain hose on the side of the machine that stops the machines from marking the units. Oh my god! I wish she wouldn't keep bloody doing that. Bonerance. <laughs> I hope we're taking that stuff in. Oh, we're not uh. taking it in. <laughs> I might have to stop the machine, hang on. Yeah, that stuff is not dissolving at all. I might just have to pour it directly in. So long as if I don't, I put it without the conditioner compartment. Stuff is not going in at all.
Okay. That reservoir's getting full. I'll stop the machine and see if we're going in. Oh, the thing fell. Ah, yes, just a little bit left to go. Just smear it out into a paste. Oh, God. It's like, um... It's like the consistency of, like, sort of half-melted chocolate. I really want... I need to rely on the water pressure to take that in. So the machine's looking warm water. I'm really going to go in. Just don't want to congeal in with water. I think you've taken it in. <laughs> Let that tumble a bit and then I'll see. Right, let's see how this goes. I hope it dissolves it. I've just had to literally wash the drawer out. <laughs> I should have just, yeah. I'm hoping that's aggressive enough. It's quite salty actually. I'm hoping it's aggressive enough to dissolve it all.
Time to unload. It's still stuck around the side. But that's come out really dry. Okay, fragrance. Fragrance test. Let's see how does that still smell nice. Oh, that smells so much retro. Oh, that's, I've never, obviously, it wasn't alive for the 80s, but yeah. So, guys plug the camera in before she dies. That is the last what you'll see of Barbara for a while now. The Hotpoint 9530A electronic 1000 plus. Let's switch her off at the plug. Um, she, we've, we've done six videos of her since she's come back in. It's nice to have had her vintage washing machine back in with the LG of course being sold. And she's done a lot more videos in this time than I'd have expected. She's going to have a well-earned rest now. Not sure when she'll come back out. But we like to leave it for a while. So you sort of miss the machine and then we bring her back. Um, and I already have the next machine ready to come in. And I'll show you that in a second. But however, there could be new machines coming in like a washer dryer. Just still searching, uh, but apart from that, no, I mean, be the same. 
I don't know about the Mila. I don't know if I'll do any more. Maybe you'll see her in some reviews. There's going to be reviews with the machine coming in now, as you know. And that's it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And don't forget to keep the free land. Go with the flyer.